With nearly 750,000 teen pregnancies each year, the United States has the highest teen pregnancy rate in the industrialized world. But one national organization wants to lower those numbers with the help of a well-known face, Bristol Palin. We're going to talk to Bristol in a moment, but first, today, national correspondent Natalie Morales has her story. Natalie? Good morning, Matt. Well, Bristol, of course, is the daughter of Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, and she's been appointed teen ambassador for the Candies Foundation, a group dedicated to educating young people about the consequences of teen pregnancy, something Bristol knows about firsthand. Come on. Let's talk about sex, baby. It may not be what teenagers want to hear, but it's what Bristol Palin wants to talk about. The unwed teen mother and daughter of Alaska Governor Sarah Palin is now part of a national campaign to prevent teenage pregnancy. In a statement, Bristol says, if I can prevent even one girl from getting pregnant, I will feel a sense of accomplishment. That may be an uphill battle for Bristol, who once said in an interview with Fox News that abstinence is unrealistic. Everyone should be abstinent or whatever, but it's not realistic at all. Bristol Palin became a national figure when her mother, a staunch supporter of abstinence-only education, accepted the nomination for vice presidency at the Republican National Convention. Seated next to then-boyfriend and her baby's father, Levi Johnston, the two appeared to be a happy young couple, a picture-perfect family-to-be. They were even planning to marry after finishing high school. But all of that would soon change. Shortly after the birth of their son, Trip, Bristol and Levi called off their engagement and broke up. Levi then began a national media blitz, first on the Tyra Banks show. Um, were you practicing safe sex? Yeah. Even when the baby was conceived? We were. And so there were just wardrobe malfunctions? I guess. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Levi. Then on Larry King Live. Did sex occur in their house? You know, uh, Larry, that uh, I'm a gentleman, you know, and I don't, you know, I don't kiss and tell, so. Bristol now says she wishes she would have waited to become a mother. Of course, I wish it would happen in like 10 years so I could have a job and an education and be like prepared and have my own house and stuff, but. First-hand advice from a teen mother who hopes other teens will listen. And today is the eighth annual National Day to Prevent Teen Pregnancy, and hundreds of thousands of teens nationwide are expected to participate. Matt? All right, Natalie, thank you very much. Bristol Palin is here along with her son, Tripp, and her father, Todd. Good morning to all of you. Nice to see you again. Morning. Last time we were gathered around a kitchen table in Wasilla eating, I think it was salmon and halibut casserole. Yeah. So it's nice to have you here. And Tripp is clearly out cold. Yeah, he's exhausted. Is he a good baby? He's a very good baby. You getting any sleep? No, <laughs> not so, at all. To get used to that. Yeah. Let, let's talk about this. You said, if I can prevent one girl from getting pregnant, I will feel a sense of accomplishment. When I hear that, Bristol, it makes me you know, read between the lines and say, although you love Trip, and I'm sure with all your heart, that you feel this was a mistake. Is that unfair, an unfair characterization? Um, he's not a mistake at all. He's a blessing, but it's just a lot of hard work, a lot of responsibility. And so you're now going to use your own personal example to talk to other teenagers. And, yeah. and, and if there are consequences to becoming a teen mother, share some of those with me. I mean, how has your life changed? It's completely changed. I'm up all night with him, and I'm constantly just changing diapers and making bottles, and your priorities change 100%. Todd, you know, as a father, you want the best for your children. Every parent wants that. And so when you look at what Bristol has been through over these last several months, in particular the attention paid to these last several months, how have you seen her life change, and how has she, she changed? Well, she's, uh, we're very proud of uh, Bristol. She's tough. She's a great mom to, to trip, and uh, she's a hard worker, So, uh, and we're proud of her for taking on this challenge of uh, sharing her life experience with the responsibility that she has today. But, but what is she missing out on? What, what do you wish could be different for Bristol? Well, you can never turn back the clock. You always have to look forward. And what she's missing out on today is just the activities with her friends were, were a lot simpler prior to trip trips arrival so uh, you know she's still adjusting to that so friends call up and they want to go out to see a movie on a weeknight or they want to go for a quick dinner or they want to go to a game or something like that and, and those things now have to be put aside yeah. because of these responsibilities do you think most teenagers ever stop to think about something like that I don't think they do and I think that they should this is a huge responsibility it's hard work you're busy all the time and you don't have time for friends Bristol is there a, a difficult line to walk here for you as I said you adore 
this little baby. A and yet, in some ways, if you're out there loving this baby and showing the joys of motherhood, that could be seen as the wrong example to send to other teenagers. Have you thought about that? Yeah, and I'm just out here just trying to tell teens that this is hard work. This is a real job. It's a 24-hour-a-day job. It's, it's not like an accessory on your hip. It's, it's hard work. This idea, and, and we spoke about this briefly in the setup piece, that, that you know, you're out there saying to people that, that obviously you have to avoid this situation. One of the ways to avoid it is through abstinence. And yet you've come out and said in an interview that abstinence is in some cases unrealistic. Do you think there is also room in this entire discussion for the concept of practicing safe sex? Yeah, well definitely, if you're going to have sex, I think you should have safe sex. And regardless of what I did or anything like that, I think that abstinence is the only 100% foolproof way of preventing teen pregnancy. But it puts you in the position a little bit of saying to other teenagers, do as I say, not as I, as yeah, I do. Yeah, exactly, learn from my example. Which is, a hard, which is hard as a role model. Yeah. And, and Todd, do you agree here that there is room, I know, I know you believe in abstinence, and, and yet do you believe that in that same discussion you should say, however, comma, if you are not going to abstain, you need to practice safe sex. Is there room for both concepts? It's kind of a fine line you're definitely walking on, but um, you know, Sharon Bristol's experience with other teenagers, you know, the mis mistake that she had here uh, over a year ago, um, you know, if she could prevent one teenager from getting pregnant, it would be great. Can we talk about Levi for a second? I know your family was somewhat disappointed when he went out and started doing some of the interviews he did. Did you talk to him about it? Um, I'm honestly not here to talk about my personal life, but I'd love for Levi to be a part of his life. And, and and is that the case at the moment? I yeah, mean, is, it is. is he an active participant in in raising trip? Yeah. Can you tell me to what degree? I mean, do you see each other on a regular to talk basis? About my personal life, but he's a part of his life. Yeah. And, and and obviously, Todd, he 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 did create a bit of controversy when he went out and started doing these interviews, saying that hinting. I don't think he ever came out and said, but hinting that there was some knowledge in the family as to what was going on between. Uh, him, he and uh, and Bristol. How do you feel about the comments he made? Well, I'm here supporting Bristol, and I know that uh, Levi is going to be a part of Trip's life. They're working out a schedule. I mean, it's challenging enough being young teenagers in today's world, let alone throwing a baby in the mix. So I know that uh, both of them will, will uh, love and care for their son together. You, uh, I know your mom was a little upset. Uh, Bristol, when there were some reports that came out that, that you were not going to finish high school. As a matter of fact, that really bugged her. Yeah. I, I know that did. You, you are, in fact, finishing high school, yeah. correct? What are your plans? What do you want to do? Well, hopefully I'll be starting college classes here in a few weeks and uh, just get my basic education out of the way. And, and, and your hopes and dreams for, for trip here? I just want him to be happy and healthy. Probably off to a pretty good start there. Well, again, you've taken a big step coming out and talking about this issue. We thank you for joining us this morning. Todd, it's good to see you thank again. You. Say hello to the governor for us. We appreciate it.